Watch out! It's dangerous out here. Says who? Says me! I'm on the hunt for something big. And it's supposed to be in this exact area. So watch your ass, or you'll be troll food. Are you hunting alone? Are you asking where my boys are? Those chicken shits ran off when they heard what I was planning. It's not a problem. I'm stronger than all of them, and happy doing my own thing anyway. Those weaklings would just get in the way. But you, you look like you could take some damage. And dish it out, too. You're hunting trolls. Just one troll. For now. That crippled monster from the area over there. That's one troll I think I can handle. How about you? Interested. Crippled? What does that mean exactly? My boys saw that monster trip over a rock a few days ago. It must have really hurt its leg. <laughs> it's been hobbling around since. Doesn't look like it could put up much of a fight. Looks like it's mercy killing the clock. Troll hunting is right up my alley. Whoa, really? All right. Nice to know there's still folk with real stones around these parts. Time's a wasting. It's hobbling around here somewhere, just waiting for us to track it down. Just say the word and we'll head out. Let's track down that monster. Now you're talking. Let's go get his ass. Ah, <laughs> looks like my kind of place. Got guts, man. I like it. Pansies I usually run with would be pissing their pants by now. Let's pick up the pace. I'm ready to kick that monster's ass.
clusterfuck. Your fucked up troll is dead. You know, to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I thought we'd have a real fight on our hands. It wasn't exactly the most dangerous troll I've ever encountered. Well, I guess we'll just have to find a tougher beast to take down. Anyway, nice work, my man. I'm sure I'll see you around here again soon. When I do, we'll find ourselves a real monster and whoop its fucking ass. Be seeing ya. Okay. Brave hunters always have my deepest respect. Do you know what'll always endure? Pretty sure you're about to tell me. Nothing. Even the hardest concrete decays over time. <laughs> what was I saying? How does this little insight help us? Just accept that chaos is king. Don't even try to impose your will on fate. I don't know. I'd rather give it a shot. Ugh.
Go away. I'm busy. You're not trying to convince me you like it here. Is something bothering you? No. Other than freezing my ass off, I love it here. Keeping moving helps. So does shutting your fucking mouth. One more thing. Uh, this is, um, nasty. She's, uh... Ah, I see that she is a representative of the Morkons. And I see that you're one of those chalky-ass oppressive fucks who thinks he's better than everybody else. Oh, no. Wait, something's not right here. Damn it. That beast wants trouble! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Don't say a fucking word. I don't get it. What is wrong with you? Are you trying to antagonize the rest of Magalon? Or just see how far you can push them all? I know what I'm doing, okay? What is the point of all this craziness? What's it for? I don't buy that you want to improve relations between the factions. Wouldn't expect you to understand. Your job is to get me in to talk to them. The rest is none of your business. Fine. If that's what it takes. Just got one more call to make anyway. The Berserkers and Tavar. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Then you can decide whether to be a chicken shit or not. There's that diplomatic touch again. You can scurry along now. Time for some weapons training. She can't be serious. I'll take that with a pinch of salt. Really? That's so. The ice desert just gives you frostbite. Why would you do that? Do nothing. You can't do anything. Oh, I can't understand. How about a drink first? Oh. Some things are better to <laughs> What a nut job. Uh, just forget it. Heard it took the whole troop. Drink first. Good to see you. 
What goods have you got? Of course. Okay, what do you have? Anything you need, my friend. Oh, nice to see you again. How can I help you? So, is business any better these days? Oh, you mean since the Morcons packed up and left? I can't say business is any better for it. It's good to see the back of a rat eater like that. Now, Skinny would just stop giving away soup. Well, that's never gonna happen. Show me what you've got. Take a look around. I'm sure I'll have time for you later. I wouldn't do that. We're done for now. Stand by at the Bastion. Good.
Not now. I have more than enough problems of my own to deal with. What are you thinking? So you know those traveling merchants? There's this one who stops by the edge of the crater. This one guy in particular always has a few guards with him, too. I know for a fact that he'll be there again soon, selling food supplies. And how'd you know that? I just do. That's all the info you're gonna get out of me. Okay. So there's a trader heading to the edge of the crater with a bunch of groceries. What's so lucrative about that? The Alexit he's carrying, of course. Let me get this straight. Your plan is to beat up a traitor who's coming to supply the crater and rob him. Let's call it a side job. Sounds more like debt collection to me. You get this job from the Duke? So I'm guessing this traitor has a debt with the Duke, and it's your job to get him to pay up. That about right? Yeah, and what of it? You should have just told me instead of feeding me some bullshit about side jobs. So, when you're ready, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wouldn't be my first time collecting a debt. Come on, we gotta get our asses in gear. We're running late as it is. There. I think they've already seen us. Tell you what, those guys already know what we want. They know me, and they know I report straight to the Duke. As soon as we're close, they'll know something's up. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, now you've got all the info. Ugh, shit. So come on, let's get that Alexa. Come on, these guys ain't gonna Leave wait around to forever.
bastards. How much Alexa were you supposed to get out of that traveling merchant anyway? The money wasn't important. That guy fucked with the Duke. He had to be taught a lesson. Well, mission accomplished. He's dead. You make a great teacher. That's good, too. One less problem to worry about. I think I finally understand what it is you do for the Duke. If you say so. I just want to make sure you won't murder me in my sleep. Nah, I'm gonna come up with something real special for you when your time comes. When what time comes? That's up to the Duke. Aren't you a peach? Hey, it's nothing personal. No, of course not. So, what's your next mission from the Duke? You'll know as soon as I get it. So go on, and do whatever it is you do. Ready for some mischief? Come on, I ain't got all day. Don't forget, I'm watching you.
know who you're talking about. Could you teach me something? Sure, of course I could. I heard they all died. That's gotta be the craziest thing I've ever heard. Ma, uh, just forget it. Sounds like bullshit to me. Mm -hmm. This food leaves much to be desired. Teach me how to be a blacksmith. What do you want to know? Let's trade. Yeah, sure. Good to see you. I want to buy some stuff. Of course.
Good to see you. We're done for now. Stand by at the Bastion. Yeah, sure. I am ready to continue with my studies. Will you help me? That was the deal. Excellent. Then I will briefly explain the nature of my next experiment. You already know that I am making an effort to become more human. A key aspect of human behavior is sharing one's possessions out of pure altruism. You believe performing an altruistic act will make you more human. I admit it's complicated. We must contend with a certain degree of irrationality. Is altruism a concept that could be applied to an algorithm? I don't have the slightest clue. Neither do I, which is why I need to enact this experience and examine the result. So you want to give stuff away? Yes, there is no need for it to be complicated. I could share food with someone, for example. How did you come up with such an idea? It worked out kind of well once before. The problem is you're a cyborg. You don't need to eat. So if you give food away, you wouldn't be recreating what it means to be human. Please explain. Your good deed has to be selfless, or it won't count. And it can't be selfless if you don't need the food you're giving. I see. What if, instead of giving the food away, I decided to sell it for profit? I mean, that would be the opposite of selfless, but... Good. Then let's proceed as planned. All I need now is some food. Meat, for example. You can find meat with ease. But I am not familiar with it. Can you help me? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Ten chunks of raw meat ought to do it. As soon as you procure it, I will gladly take it off your hands. Here, ten pieces of raw meat. Perfect. Now, to give them away. I suggest giving it to people whose friendship you value. Then it'll really be worthwhile. Give me an example. What about the hunters who work to keep the Bastion stocked with food? I am not convinced. If there's anyone capable of acquiring meat by themselves, it's surely the hunters. True. But a gift from you would save them a lot of work. And that would make it a selfless act? Yeah, in some respects. Maybe nasty. No, better leave her alone. She'd probably just dislocate your arm. Are you suggesting that even asking her would be deemed worthy of punishment? From her point of view? Absolutely. What about Fox? He's a hunter too, isn't he? Well, yeah, he is, but... Unless you want to have to deal with his unusual sense of humor, I'd steer clear. There are plenty of other candidates to pick from, but... I suggest we start by picking from the names we've listed so far. Excellent. Then let's start right away. I don't think you need me anymore. I mean, you're the one who wants to get all charitable. That is true. 
but I don't feel confident that I will find the right tone to express my sentiments. I would much rather have my mentor present. Okay, if you insist, let's go together. I'll lead you to who I think should get the goods. Thank you. Your help is invaluable. How are things with you, Falk? I am doing well. Being by your side allows me to experience many new things. Follow me. Sure thing. You are a hunter, is that right? And you, you're a cleric? Correct. I have a piece of meat for you. Raw meat, huh? Bring it on. How much you got? Enough. And what do you want for it? It is a gift. I only want to help you. All right, hand it over then. I can take care of it later. But, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. You're not going to show up later wanting some sort of payment, are you? Last thing I need is to be owing favors to higher-ups. Uh, no. No, I, uh... Okay, then. Thanks. Of course. Uh, happy to help. Noted. I'd like to do another right away, if you don't mind. Please try to ensure it's a suitable candidate. All right. It's what you need. to me like you're an eternal acolyte. Don't you have any ambitions to climb the ranks of the cleric hierarchy? That would be an interesting challenge. However, the clerics are reluctant to let machines enter the higher echelons of their chain of command. They find humans more amenable. What do we have here? Hello, Berserker. Well, 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 if it ain't the cyborg from the cleric castle. That's right. I wanted... Yeah, so did I. I'm sorry, what? Well, of course. I mean, us misfits have to stick together, right? Misfits? No, I actually... Of course, any time you only need to ask. Ah, well, in that case... No need to be shy. You can ask me anything. Go ahead. I just wanted... I know! I totally get it. Keep up the good work. Really? Of course! You're doing great! Really impressive. But... Uh, I should get going now, so... Don't forget, though! Anytime! Alright. Uh, sure. Have a good day. It's just getting better and better, isn't it? That was a less than perfect interaction. I believe that it could have gone better. I need someone who will really appreciate my act of generosity. Let us try again. We'll move on to the next candidate. Hello. What the hell do you want? You're a hunter, correct? That's none of your business. That is quite true. However, I have... 
Let me stop you right there. I got shit to do and I can't get on with it if you keep pestering me. So beat it. Stop scaring away all the game, okay? I apologize. I had no intention of disturbing you. I merely wanted to... But you are disturbing me, so get lost. Yes, of course. I merely... Fuck off. As you wish. I shall, to use the vernacular, fuck off. That was disappointing. I am struggling to describe my feelings. I didn't know that could happen to a cyborg. As you would say, the less said, the better. Let us move on. We must find a better candidate. Excuse me, do you have a moment? 